Tika would like to know how does she check the answer to an inequality that she solved? So it sounds like what you're uh, asking a question about is how do you know if the answer you've gotten for an inequality is correct? And it looks like you have a specific inequality that you've worked on. So let's write that down. We have a 2n plus 5 is greater than 11 minus n. So if we were to solve this particular inequality and wanted to check our answer, really checking it is not that difficult when you understand what you're doing. So let's go through the solving it first. We'll use all the same rules we're used to using for solving equations. And just remember that the only thing that's different is if we have to divide by a negative, we'll have to switch the sign. But I don't think we're going to have to do that here anyway. So let's go ahead and move the 5 over to the other side, because this side starts with the most variables. So we'll move all the variables over there. So we'll move the 5 over to this side by subtracting 5 from both sides. And we'll move the n over to the other side by adding n to both sides. So here we'll have 2n plus 1n, that's 3n's. And here we have 5 minus 5, that's 0. And then we have greater than 11 minus 5, that's 6. And negative n plus n, that's 0. So now we have 3n is greater than 6. Divide both sides by 3. Our 3's will cancel over here, and we'll get n is greater than 2. So now our question is, is this answer correct? Well, if it's correct, then n could be any number that was bigger than 2. So we could take any number we wanted as long as it was bigger than 2, and it should be true in this statement up here. So let's try 3. Let's say n equals 3. We'll plug that 3 in for n up in our original equation up here. We change colors so it's easier to track here. And then up in our original equation over here, so let's see what happens when we do that. Then we get 2 times 3 plus 5 is greater than 11 minus 3. Well, 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 plus 5 is supposed to be greater than 11 minus 3, which is 8. Well, 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 is definitely greater than 8. So that checks. So this answer appears to work. We can try one more just to be sure. But since we picked one that was just barely above 2 and it worked, chances are anything higher than that probably will. Let's try um, n equals 6. Then we'd have 2 times 6 plus 5 is greater than 11 minus 6. So now we have 12 plus 5 is greater than 5. And 17 is greater than 5. Yep, that works. So our answer then looks to me like it's exactly correct n is indeed greater than 2. So you can check it very much the way you would check inequality. Just take the answer that you, you come up with, substitute it back in for the variable in the original equation, and see if the statement comes out to be true. If it does, your answer is correct.